Welcome back, True Seeker. A third player has tested positive for coronavirus. The latest comes Saturday, March 14th, 2020. They're saying Christian Wood likely contracted coronavirus when his Detroit Pistons faced the Utah Jazz on March 7th, 2020, seven days ago. And recall, the only other two players in the NBA are supposedly Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell of the Utah Jazz. I want to show you the very clear parallels between these three men. And this will be further evidence that this is all truly contrived information. In other words, this is bullshit. So, we've been talking about this number a lot. In Gematria, Christian Wood sums to 68. Before I even go any further, look at the picture they put out for this article. What does this communicate? Of all the pictures to choose of this man, him with a, you know, shh. Like, we're keeping a secret here? I mean, think about it. But anyway, Christian Wood, 68, like Detroit Pistons, 68, like Wuhan, 68, like basketball, 68. And with regards to them saying he likely got this on March 7th, 3-7. Remember, virus is 37. In this case, so is Detroit. We just talked about how Rudy Gobert got it 37 weeks after his birthday. And... In both the Rudy Gobert case and the Donovan Mitchell case, we talked about the Jesuit connection. Well, look at Christian Wood's birthday. It is the Jesuit Order's birthday, the Society of Jesus. His name is Christian. Just think about it. The Jesuit birthday, September 27th, just like his. And he's also born in the year 95. September 27th leaves 95 days left in the year. Remember, the Jesuits were formed to kill Martin Luther and his followers who wrote the 95 Thesis against the Catholic Church. Martin Luther King Jr., who's named after Martin Luther, was killed on the 95th day of 1968. Plus, it was a date with 95 numerology. So again, here's Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. This news broke March 11th. 11-3, like 113. Utah Jazz 113. The National Basketball Association 113. The only team in the league that sums to 113 is the Utah Jazz. Wrote about this in my book, how the NBA loves to perform big rituals around 113. This might be the biggest of all time, this coronavirus joke. Remember, from the start of the NBA season to the announcement of the suspension, the day that Rudy Gobert got coronavirus was the 142nd day of the league. It began October 22nd, suspended March 11th, 142nd day, coronavirus 142, year of the rat 142. Rudy Gobert's listed at 7 foot 1. The season was suspended on the 71st day of the year. March Madness equals 71. It was suspended on the same day. From Rudy Gobert's 26 slash 6 birthday, 26 slash 6, like 266, we're in the time of the 266th Pope, a special number to the Jesuits. From his birthday to his diagnosis was 37 weeks, virus 37. His name Gobert has gematria of 67 like Wuhan. With the alphabetic order in reverse, that's where Wuhan is 68. Both numbers very relevant. And then Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. From his September 7th birthday to the day that he was diagnosed, March 12th, was his 26 weeks and 6 days into his age. Again, 266. Again, like how we're in the time of the 266th Pope, Pope Francis. Pope Francis is the first publicly Jesuit Pope. IHS in the Jesuit logo in Latin, those words equal 266. And just for the record, from the Pope's birthday to the league suspension was 85 days. Basketball's 85. The league was suspended on the 71st day of the year. Catholic 71. Again, March Madness was suspended 71. March Madness, the championship was in Atlanta, the home of the CDC, established on 7-1, CDC 71. Notice Donovan Mitchell 68, just like Christian Wood. Wuhan, consider the Pope is in Italy. Kobe Bryant ties into this. Kobe Bryant was raised in Italy. Kobe Bryant equals 113. Again, it is undeniable what they're doing here. This is all contrived information. They're using the players that have the Wuhan Gematria virus. They're making it very clear that this is having a lot to do with the Jesuits. Religion. Think about it starting in Utah, a state known for Mormonism. Religion. Just last year, the Mormons opened a giant temple next to the Vatican in Rome. 
None of these things are an accident. Join me in Seattle tomorrow, Truth Seeker. We're going to expose some more. Pike's Place Market, Sunday, March 15th. Till next time.